today if we're praying for the healing of another. And there are conditions or there are circumstances that challenge our faith to the core. We turn to God and realize that healing is sometimes beyond human training, beyond human mind. We think about another that needs healing by beholding them blessed and healed in spirit, in mind, and in body. We pray for the quickening of the spirit in them, the quickening of their mind, the quickening of their body to accept, receive, and hold on to healing. If a dear one is under the care of a doctor, we can behold the Christ working in that doctor as the light needed to inspire the right treatment. Most doctors are very grateful for good thoughts and prayers of patients, loved ones. Positive attitudes are also welcome and facilitate the healing process. I have seen positive attitude in a family change a direction of healing where everything was going down and the family came in with a positive affirmative attitude and it brought an empowerment into the very atmosphere of the room not to mention the patient many times a loved one needs a quickening of a desire to live and beholding the Christ helps to reawaken an awareness of life's goodness and what life can hold. At other times, fears need to be pushed away. Beholding the Christ, it inspires new faith. And I tell you, the body responds and it cooperates with all the healing forces of God. As we pray, let us know that every healing prayer becomes part of the pool of healing life from which we draw. As it says in the Bible, go and wash in the pool when it's talking about healing. Well, we go and wash clean in the pool of accumulative healing thought. And that blesses us and heals the whole part of us, the spirit, mind, and body.